Long ago, lightning ignited fires would burn through the southeastern landscape, providing ideal conditions for the fire-dependent longleaf pine species. These natural fires would reduce competition from other species and stimulate seedling growth, and longleaf thrived under these conditions. The longleaf ecosystem is one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. And it's also a great habitat if you want to manage for deer, turkey, quail, and a whole host of game and non-game animals. In recent years, development over harvesting and fire suppression have caused the longleaf's range to shrink to a fraction of its original footprint. However, recent work supported by the grants from Alabama Power and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation's Longleaf Stewardship Fund is helping to reverse this trend. The alert team came together in 2011 basically to help private landowners find assistance with managing or restoring longleaf pine. That is, for all these private landowners that are getting interested in longleaf pine, uh, they tend to have many questions as they go through this process. And so they wanted to know, how can I find a specialist? And what is their specialty? And how do I get in contact with them? ALERT, which stands for the Alabama Longleaf Ecosystem Restoration Team, is a group of 14 organizations with agencies with a wealth of technical expertise who provide guidance through avenues such as landowner workshops, seminars, consultations, and even on-site controlled burns. One of the really critical things that the TNC, the Nature Conservancy, brings to the ALERT team is we actually do a lot of on-the-ground fire, and yes, Occasionally, we will go out, meet with landowners, and actually do a burn for them, trying to incentivize them to really get that fire program rolling on their property. Thanks to the programs like the Longleaf Stewardship Fund and the efforts of so many partner organizations and technical experts, the benefits of managing private lands for longleaf pine are being realized. It's the people that are involved with those organizations that have made the difference that actually create the true partnerships that you can wrap your hands around, you can wrap your mind around, and quite frankly, together, we produce the kind of on-the-ground accomplishments that'll benefit the wildlife and natural resources of our state in the southeastern United States for decades to come.